welcome to another Spirit Baby reading. I'm Allie from Allie's White Tarot, and today's topic is going to be, what's your child's starseed gift? Okay, so for the starseed gift, it's basically if your child's spiritual, of course, I believe every child's spiritual. So what's your child's gift as far as, is your baby clairvoyant? Is your baby going to come in this world to heal, doing uh, therapy work or any kind of spiritual reading work kind of like myself you know etc like that so today we're going to find out what's your baby starseed gift okay it could get kind of interesting so just be mindful of what i say it's a general reading let me put that as a, disclo a disclaimer if you want to get in depth you can book me right here hold on a second you see right here what it says direct me at ali's way tarot and we can get into your personal reading okay don't take everything that I say word for word. It's also for entertainment purposes, even though I know that I'm right and accurate. But I have to say that. Um, some more disclaimers is you know how to spell my name, A-L-L-Y-S-W-A-Y-T-A-R-O-T. Literally right there. It says Ali's White Tarot, okay? Both of you pals can see it before I take it down and start your reading, okay? All right, let me zoom in for you. See that? Anything that doesn't look like that, you need to report that. Okay, wonderful. Or with the little emoji that like that. Okay. Another thing is I'm a psychic medium, so therefore I'm gonna pause at times to get into your baby's messages. I told you before, and if you've watched my readings before, that I hear all sorts of languages, even though I don't speak them, but my soul understands them. And um, so I hear them in many, many different ways. I also see signs and symbols. I need to find a way to translate all of that to the language i'm obviously speaking right now english and so therefore you can translate it for yourself um as i read because i'm going to translate it for you and then you translate it into your personal life and how that fits for you okay your baby obviously knows how to get through to you because you're here watching me <laughs> um i also say every time but i say it again if you see that i'm going fast pacing horse anything like that I'm empathetic, so I feel your energy or the person who pick your pile because it's a general. I pick that person's energy up um, and I tend to, you know, go fast, go fast. And it's a more like an empathetic thing. I would slow myself down when I realize I'm doing it. I even had to burn a, like a breathe candle <laughs> before I started. Um, and another thing I like to say is that I'm asthmatic, even though you heard me say it before. Why do I say that to you? Because um sometimes i'll you know it'll act up and so i need to like breathe for a second and ah call, clear my la my lungs and then come back especially with the summer getting really warm and you're watching me if you watch me later on in the fall or whatever that's fine but summer and winters are usually really cold and very hot and it affects my health okay so therefore i come i drink water a lot and you'll see that i'll, I'll drink water a lot for that and slow down but anyway let's get into it the first pile is a unicorn right you got a unicorn right here and then the second one is a flamingo and you're going to see me doing your spirit baby reading right now again the topic is what's your baby star seed gifts featuring me and the birds outside <laughs> um they're chirping uh but anyway let's get into it i'm not gonna do crystal of the day for individual piles today because it's it's like a retrograde eclipse kind of season right now we're in if you're watching it during the time i'm filming it so for both piles today like i do is going to be amethyst okay why amethyst again even though you probably see me put it in a reading because it's a it's a calming for a crown it's good for the crown it's calming for the crown chakra and the third eye especially with this full moon coming up on the 15th and the 16th of may and it's also very good for anxiety it's also good for like i said heavy energies and so therefore it's a common kind of crystal all right but anyway let's get into it pile one again is the unicorn and pile two is the flamingo you can choose colors you could choose vibes you could choose both you could choose one <laughs> all right now let's get into it hello hello pile one and welcome to your reading for your child's starseed gift 
we have the unicorn for you. That's what you chose. Beautiful unicorn, right? It's multi colors and the hair and the, the, the unicorn ears. So your baby loves a lot of color. That's one. Um, it's also very spiritual. That's another thing. Given the card alone. The sun's coming through. So that's a sign that your child's here. Also in the physical room right now. <laughs> of course, they helped me pull it off camera. But it's nice to see when they join. Hello. All right, so the first card that I'm going to pull is Tarot because Tarot tells a bunch of things, not just past, present, and future energies. It also tells your job descriptions, your uh, personality, and much more, okay? So for the world energy right here, let me put it right here, the world, your baby has lots of careers, but your baby's career is universal, very full circle, very organized and put together because you see a lot of obstacles coming at them. He or she, regardless of gender, but I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see. You see all the obstacles around, but still your child's like laughing. And then there's a lot of color right there too. That's nice. Okay. And then, so right now we have world. And the world card basically says that your child's career is going to be in government. It's going to overrule. Um, when I say overrule, I mean like go all the way to other countries overrule different parts of the world could even be like a, a prime minister uh, as far as the government goes could be a president like for example if you're from america your child could be governing canada could be governing london well it's nothing's impossible like, um it's also governing uh, a different state right as far as if you especially if you're in the u.s uh, even I think other parts of the country they have different regions, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Different regions where like you you could be um what's the word? I'm using a random state. You could be from like New York and then your child goes over to Virginia and then decides that he wants to be the mayor or she wants to be the mayor, like the son again. So like that. Yeah. Like anything related to law. Okay. That's what it's basically saying. Coming over teaching and being very serious in his, his or her craft. And going overseas. Overseas does not only mean to countries. But sometimes, hey, who knows? Your child could be the next Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. Nothing in this world is impossible. Okay. What other things does your child like? When I pulled this pile originally, I thought music. So I don't know, like the world card could also mean that your child could also like two hobbies. Or it's a separate pile for two people right so a whole circle can also mean a bunch of careers because if you see there's like four circles but your child chooses one that brown full circle so one of the hobbies could also be music if not music will be the child's center of gift and then law and governing will be a side passion right it can flip either one um but right here we have loves music Nurturing. I'm going to take my spirit baby sticker because we know that it's a spirit baby reading. Put it in the bottom. Um, we have charming. Confident. And I feel like there's two more. And we have, it's a girl. So with that um, right here, being a girl, it's nice to see that it's a girl. And then we have, I want to put this one here so you could see all of the cards. And then we have, hey, organized. So right now, your child's personality is charming, nurturing, loves music, confident, and it's a girl. <laughs> okay, so let's see some descriptions of your daughter. They had quite a few when I pulled them out, so I was like, okay, um, I'm not soliciting myself, but I feel like you need a reading because when a lot of cards come out and it's a general, I can't pull for everyone. Obviously, there's a big collective and not all of you will resonate with it, but you want to hear about your child, so book a reading with me if you feel guided to, um, but it, it's coming out pretty strong, especially when I keep doing readings and there's like more than like three, four cards flying out. There's it's something like significant all right but right now for this one we have brown skin cleft chin 
And I'm going to cover some of the words already, okay? Hazel eyes. Afro textured. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so for Afro textured, let's pull it right here. Okay, Afro textured. Average height light brown hair the sun is a strong and one fell on the floor so we're gonna get that one light brown eyes okay i'm sorry if it looks dark brown but the sun's in my face so i can't alter the color but it says light brown light hair brown skin and afro textured hair for the afro textured hair i got like two types of hair so maybe the mom is is african-american or afro-caribbean or anything afro related and the father could be hispanic caucasian um also too these could be past life energies and that your soul your child's like hey do you recognize my soul um when you recognize my soul then maybe you'll realize that i'm your child it, that happens quite often where you close your eyes and you can remember who you used to be in a past life and then all of a sudden you remember so yeah i'm getting past life with that i don't know some signs are yellow to look well no stop because i mean look at the sun being yellow and a veggie garden if you have a vegetable garden i'm seeing unicorn right here and red bird and there's birds outside chirping didn't i not say like featuring the birds so this is for you definitely that indeed your child could be dark skin and an average height with light brown hair with hazel eyes with light brown eyes uh showing you vegetable gardens if you live near a botanical um like a botanical garden um or the color yellow if you see that i feel like bumblebees or honey should have came out but that's what i'm seeing and honey and bumblebees, uh, like I guess Oshun energy. I think I told someone that before, but anywho, um, where I, yeah, maybe that's the same pod that you guys will choose. But I, I feel like I told you off camera that you have Oshun energy, and Oshun is the goddess of fertility deep within you. You're born with that, that goddess watching over you. Oshun is an African American goddess. I feel like your child's gonna come out looking very Oshun like, very, um clear skin very average height beautiful hair it's kind of funny because this is the physical description of your child right here just like this yeah like the world's card <laughs> with the unicorn with meaning unicorn is two different meanings it means well three unicorn can mean queer for the community it also means that you don't like to be tamed right very rebellious child and it's funny because we have the you chose the unicorn pile and this is the unicorn right here how oh, like that really does work together you know your child really loves unicorns and um also unicorns can mean that your child likes to dye his or her hair right i say she in the beginning but it could be a boy with feminine energy as well don't forget these are energies if you have a boy or a girl it says it's a girl but it could mean energies in the light skin <laughs> but you know if it says it's a girl it's a girl but it could be girl energy as well but sometimes boys they like to be feminine there's nothing wrong with that to me at least i don't know how you're gonna parent in your household but there's, there's nothing wrong with that be yourself um, yeah so, yeah take it or leave it uh when the things are going to turn around and change between five to six months and they said January. So again, with that yellow card, you see there's January, there's yellow, yellow in the unicorn, yellow in the dress, yellow in the card. <laughs> yellow is very significant. This is equinox season when I'm filming this. So therefore, an eclipse season as well. So therefore, I would say work on your um, solar plexus. Solar plexus has to do with self-esteem. I feel like your child's going to come into this life very, um, very low in self-esteem because of his or her past life. And Oshun also has that orange yellow color in the goddess of itself, right? That's the star seed color. But as far as it goes to what is the child going to be in this lifetime, it's very law based, very full circle, very organized, very serious, very 
not to the point of stuck up but serious as far as i'm going to get my pentacles i'm going to study for school and there's nothing that you can do about it if it's 10 p.m and you turn off the lights i'll use my cell phone flashlight or i'll wake up at five o'clock when the sun's up and i'll continue like this is very very serious energy um you have also with the music very passionate about music very passionate about art i know that many of you may or may not agree with the, the pride parade but i know people who are in it so i see that they also like music funky music i believe i'm not really sure with the community but i've i've seen it on tv and stuff and you know you have to pay attention when you're spiritual because there's all sorts of kids you get when you pull out for uh you know the divination purposes but i i believe when i see like the queer community on the parades on tv and there's a horn oh car honk yeah but um when there's a queer, queer community they play a lot of funky very 19 discos music um 1970s 80s kind of disco music vibe so i'm getting that where you could have known your child in that pastime era also as well as it's, it's like double messages in each pile it's interesting so for some of you you know you're kidding you know, 70s 80s era some of them are not born in that era but they love that era for both of you and some of them are queer when some of them are not you have to just know your child when you obviously the baby comes out but i'm getting that vibe as well and also if your child's not queer then your child is very free-spirited with the dress color with the unicorn twice you know there's a lot of color your baby likes a lot of color your baby's a, your baby's very awake in the chakra center and i feel like when your baby comes into this world to teach in any kind of music or law department they're going to take that free-spirited energy with them right that is basically what's going to happen to that situation <laughs> okay well i hope it resonated with you and i hope that you enjoyed it and we're going to get into your pendulum and also get into your charms i'm going to give a few charms okay and after that we're going to sign off and i'm going to see you in the next one hopefully because i love hanging out with you all right i'll see you again later paul one hi pal one okay so let's get into your charms okay and i also want to clarify some things about what i said in the reading as well because i feel like i didn't really explain myself even though i know i did okay so when it comes to your child like i said before the queer thing i feel like also this could be past life too okay so don't take it everything word for it also it could mean that maybe you or your partner or someone in your family has that type of same-sex energy because i heard after camera it was like but i don't think she's gonna understand what you're saying so i'm gonna read calibrate for some of you guys and say that over also could be that your child is a girl in a past life and wants to come as a boy in this life or does not know the gender yet so it says girl for right now okay your kids can change their genders their sex as they decide to see how your life is going okay i also wanted to clarify that for you because sometimes it could be boy in this time and then girl in another um it could also be one of your kids coming through for say some message and another one comes as well happens all the time okay so i wanted to just save that for you and uh, all right let's get into your dice with right here we've got some dice and then i'm gonna get into charms okay i just sorry i wanted to just clarify that <laughs> sometimes messages could be very confusing all right, it may get loud, so you might just want to turn it down for like a second, okay? So you guys, I have a lot of dice. And just to think I needed more. Okay. Right here. Okay. Ooh -wee. All right, let's line them up in... If you hear music outside, I'm sorry. As soon as I said your child likes music, Celine Dion is blasting next door. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I can't tell my neighbor to shut up, but like, yeah. I guess the passion for music is real <laughs> when it comes to your child. Because <laughs> right after the, the card part of it is like Celine Dion is singing. Okay, anyway, we've got Cloud mountain so some of you may live in the mountains i also read from right here on the bottom when i feel oh 
and I feel guided to do that. So if I re revert to that, just know that's what I'm saying. Where was we at though? I said this. Okay. Cloudy. So your baby is cloudy right now, right? Well, Sunny did come out, so I feel like something significant Sunny's gonna come out. And if you guys remember, I said yellow for your baby. I remember I always say I'm the ocean goddess that loves pink and gold. That's also yellow and solar plexus. So pay attention to that. Ocean is really around you. Bats don't sleep in the day, so your baby's gonna be a night owl. You can live in the mountains. Another cloud comes out again, so I feel like maybe you should clear your energy, especially in this moon energy. Eating ice cream is something your baby loves and is your little chicken. That's also another double message. Um, is your little chicken. They know that that's they're your, your baby. But also I feel like they're going to come in the spring or summer kind of fall energy. Okay. Early fall. The maximum. With hair, with the winter on the bottom. In the night. Oh, in the night. That could be like, um, when does it start to turn fall at night? But it's still summer kind of like late august september because it feels like fall a little bit but it it's still summer yeah well at least where i'm at <laughs> and i'm on the east coast of america so yeah and then we got charms okay rainbow came out again so your baby could be a rainbow. it also could be that your baby is a rainbow baby like it's another double, triple, quadruple message that doesn't have to be pride. It doesn't have to be tapped in all the time. It could be that your baby is just you know, colorful. Okay, it gets loud, so please turn down. Okay, okay. We've got quite a few. Okay. Um, let's put this here. So we have spirit baby, another one. So they're letting you know that you're spirit babies. I'm gonna do the animals first. Hello Kitty could be significant. I think that's Ernie, right? Or is that Bert? Not sure. But anyway, we've got some initials. We've got T O U M P. Some could be named Tom. Okay. With this aside. I need to get like that little scooper that I don't have to do that too. another character is Thomas the Choo Choo Train in Powerpuff Girls you could be from the 90s <laughs> if you're watching this or maybe you know somebody from the 90s it doesn't always have to be about you or your baby it could be people around they see so they can show you that they're watching you and they know like they're trying to show you like for example I can use me my spirit baby um like strawberries and stuff and likes my best friend and so sometimes i see strawberries i don't like them but you're my baby's like hey so i'm just showing you that i know about strawberries and i'm in your life i'm definitely accurate i'm a real person i'm a real you see the light shining i'm a real person i'm a real thing um so this is i'm telling you about your family problems what i hear your conversations because i want you to understand that i'm around right uh, luigi as well And we have another O. And let's get into the signs and symbols. We have B mind. So that could be from your soul partner. Right? I'm sorry about the light. But that's the spare baby shining upon you. So what can I do? Oh, and they turned it down. I appreciate you. Angel. I said I said about the nighttime when it's like chilly but not too cold. So autumn, September. They do watch you because they're taking pictures of your life and recording them. So they can know how to be you. A part of your world also i feel like that's your soul partner stalking you um paris could be significant to you let me just show you that hey paris is significant if it would center but it won't center All right they want you to know that never never give up blessed a light bulb something great's gonna happen with your ideas there could be a ladybug as well watching you this is um another cupid's bow with arrow 
and a fish so sea sea roll could be significant to you and it says please please drive safe i need you here with me hearts is for you and your baby and another kitty and a heart that says always the last one says enough so with that yellow sacral chakra uh solar plexus and maybe it's also orange too or uh, yeah orange so orange and yellow right here perfect example of the rainbow orange and yellow is your sacral and your solar plexus work on them for your creative energy spunk and your self-esteem okay and that's what we have so far and then we'll do the pen apologies again for the lighting but the spare babies want to come forward so therefore think of your question intense and three two one nunca means never or right not right now siempre means forever um quizás means sometimes or maybe c is yes and no is in all languages no okay and three two one think of your question call one It says nunca, so I don't like the word never, but not right now, okay? Thank you so much for joining me in Ali's Way Tower Reading. I'm Ali, the ocean goddess that loves pink and gold. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell your friends. Please comment. I keep saying comment and no one's commenting. Comment! <laughs> Thank you. I have to yell at you guys just a little bit because I, I want to come to your comment. Just comment. There's nothing wrong in commenting. Tell me that it resonates. Don't DM me. Don't share and stuff like take screenshots. I, I see it. Don't do that. I want you to do it underneath so that the new people who want to join this family can actually see that I'm I'm damn good of my what I do and I'm accurate as hell. Okay, so let them see, give them some type of encouragement. I know watching a new page can make you very intimidated and shy. Um, you know, and shy. So just let them see, let them, you know, feel comfortable, comment. Even if it's a sentence that says, great job. I see a few of you guys do it. Thank you. But for the others, can you guys like add on so that could be instead of one person who always does it or two people, the two people that does it, um, can it just be, uh, you know, many of you? Because it's two of you that DM me and I, I love the DMs, but I want you to comment, okay? Because I want other people to, like you to see it and feel and even your babies agree because the sun came back up just let let come on comment <laughs> and share and like and subscribe okay because i really do want you guys to enjoy my content all right well i'll see you in the next one thank you again featuring your spirit baby hi pal two and welcome to your part of the reading okay so for today like i said before earlier it's going to be what's your child's starseed gift, okay? Could be triggering, could be not. Never know what we're going to get with these spirit babies. So, first we're going to have, obviously, the pen, um, the flamingo. What am I saying? The flamingo pendulum. Maybe your child is excited to do the pendulum. I don't know. So, first we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to get into tarot. And then we're going to do time frames and all that other good stuff okay so two fell out even though i was going to choose one to be fair to pile one <laughs> but i don't know there's a lot of distractions outside with the cars honking and music playing and it's like aggravating me but i also feel like it's divine sign so and then the light like shines through so it's a divine sign i feel like in the beginning of your child's life they won't have you know how a flamingo kind of like wobbles a little and then stands up firm eventually your child won't have all of their their shit together in a way <laughs> i hate to say mean but like you know they won't have all their eggs in a basket at first and then towards the end they will and then the sun you see so i'm right i'm right yeah they know <laughs> And then it dims, so it's like, yes, she's right, and then dims. Nice, thank you. I'm happy when this stuff comes on camera because I see a lot of this off camera, and then when it gets recorded, I'm like, perfect. They see what I'm seeing. <laughs> but anywho, there's two cards. There's the Five of Cups, right? And then there's the Emperor. A lot of energy. It's a lot of energy. 
So for the Five of Cups, it's a child. You have a baby that's basically loves to be isolated, likes to be alone, likes to. And if you hear the music in the background, I'm sorry, I've got rude neighbors. Um, but it's um isolated. Your child's isolated and likes to be alone. It's a very hermit kind of energy. Nothing wrong with being a hermit. A lot of times, hermit children are very spiritual. So don't force your child to be. Uh, extroverted right as i know especially for me my mother used to make me do that still tries it even as old as i am it's no your child's aware quiet children see a lot so try to like not force your baby okay it's emperor obviously is male energy but we also have female energy so like i did for pal one but maybe you guided to watch this one too to get some more clarification maybe who knows i feel guided to say that but it's both it's um, I'm not saying that your child's confused of his gender or anything. It's like two separate children that want to come out and say the same message, right? Okay. Or sometimes it's a double message and that your child's still figuring out what he or she wants to be in this life right now, okay? Because you do choose everything, your gender, your sex, your hair, all of that, okay? <clears throat> Even your parents, they chose you. You chose your parents too obviously for a soul mission and purpose to ascend them to be better in another lifetime that's the meaning behind why they choose people but um yeah so with the five of cups it's bar work it's hospitality it's counseling it's anything that wants to be alone it's librarian it's uh what likes to be alone people at the bars usually are alone because even though people come up to them when they create drinks they have to wait for them very i'm seeing too like um i don't know for some of you maybe you have a uh, food jobs kitchen jobs but it's like uh what's the back of the house where they cook and prep and do all of that stuff and nobody sees them that's perfect for your child as far as the emperor goes right because emperor is a very strong masculine kind of energy we have uh leadership taking control so i also feel like behind the scenes your child being the boss with the five of cups energy regardless of gender and sex also could be that maybe one of people in this pile chose has a son and the other person has a daughter it's so mixed match but you guys just have to like get personals to know that okay but it's two different ones it could be your, that your baby is confused on which gender to pick or one was a baby who was your son in a past life that wants to come back as a daughter it's both of your kids or it could be it's one child that's a boy and another child for someone else or a girl many many ways to flip that right but anyway the emperor energy is a leadership very male oriented so even if your daughter's obviously feminine you're still gonna have that very boss very strong very demeanor where pariah feminine where everyone's gonna respect her in the room talking like a hillary clinton a beyonce a michelle obama right like you work for me masculine energy as well very strong very barack obama kind of feeling um not overpowering like a hitler but very strong like barack obama very determined has a beautiful demeanor i know regardless if you chose whatever you chose for your political party that is a strong person male oriented um i can't even think of a male singer but i don't know maybe a Chris Brown too because he's even though despite if you like him or not um he dominates pop and R&B music for years see the guy's been singing since I was nine and I'm pushing 30 like you know it's a, it's a strong kind of energy Michael Jackson also another one classic where he just dominates music even though he's already passed on for over 10 years like that's the, the kind of energy your child's gonna have um, when it comes to being leadership, obviously bosses are not usually all the time in the front row. They're behind the scenes doing paperwork, owning up to themselves, being a boss, being strong, being demeanor. And that's your baby's energy. Okay. Now for any kind of signs and symbols, and we have, uh, what's the word? Features that you're going to look out for. We've got this. We've got black hair. We've got tall We've got colorful hair, piercings. I literally heard your baby say colorful hair, don't care. 
So if you try to be strict on your child, they will, he or she or both, will will definitely rebel you and reflect a different version of what you want. I'm sorry to say it. It's true. Like I said, it's two different people in the same pile. So we'll have one that's dark skin. We also have one that's tan skin. I can speak from my own personal home household that one of my a few of my kids are... Um, and I have my spirit babies I'm talking about. They're light. The other parts of my children are dark. So, you know, I have more than one and they are different shades. It's like a hue of brown. It starts off light and it ends up dark. And that can happen in your household as well, especially if you're multiracial, how my household will be. Um, we have dark brown and we have dark green eyes. Even though it didn't say dark, I saw dark green eyes almost like a hazel okay your baby is also persuasive right here we've got a persuasive and some signs to look out for it wasn't very many i'll pull this one up so that way i could get more cards but we've got windmill puppy kitty and they said put it up on the very top so kite okay Windmill puppy kitty kite child's persuasive has gray hair colorful hair dark brown um, The brown skin and also tan skin dark green eyes or hazel eyes is another feature to look out for Okay, right here. I'm gonna wipe this board out. We're gonna look at time frames pendulums and charmies. Okay Your child's very direct <laughs> More like oh, let's get it going. I don't have all day <laughs> all right, Wow, okay And then I feel like they work really hard to help you because they're like, I'm tired. We have December in good timing. Oh, wait, why well, upside down? May. I guess May is pending. Um, or a lot of work could be getting done and it's like phew, almost done. Okay. So, obviously, like I said before, it's two different people in the same pile. So we have. December in good timing after a hard time and May. Okay, so some of you are gonna see in good timing right after you've struggled that in December it's a good time. In May could be really really pushing on getting your your um your goals and your dreams and your aspirations coming true, and that's gonna happen in December. Also for your child's career, it could be that it takes off personally in December for your child. Okay, it's like that power kind of energy. All right, and that's what we have right now. I'm gonna get into charms, and I wanna say thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your messages with your children. Obviously, it's it's divine, because you're here to see me, and I wanted to say thank you, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment to your friends and your family, because I would like to do more readings for you and also get monetized at the same time. So you help me, and I help you, and we are family. Thank you so much again for watching me, and I appreciate everything that you do and everything who you are. And once again, I'm signing off. All right, all right, pal two, let's get into your charmies, okay? Right here, we're gonna get into charms and then I'm gonna do dice. I don't know why I wanna flip it that way today, but I will. I didn't wanna do that on camera because that was really loud the first time I did it for pile one. All right, we've got a unicorn right here. So your baby is free spirited. We've got a purple ducky, right? Um. I think I'm going to do that later, the Crocs. All right, yep. Yeah. Some initials are P-O-N-N, -N, so pawn. Um, the sign is Scorpio and Pisces. That's your sign. We've got Bear. We've got, it seems like the Energizer Bunny. I, I want some strawberry and chocolate milk, so that's very significant. Forever is a sign as well. You have, a like I said, Cupid's bow and a deer. This is also eclipse energy. So pay attention in the eclipse for those signs and symbols. The moon is significant to you. This is um, like, a, like a duck and a uh, fish. And this is another deer. So we've got two deers. And we have, this says... eyes at each other so if it would center but it won't today it's this retrograde energy they're messing up my camera 
very a lot of technology will mess up um and anyway we have right here we have a yamaya yamaye yamaja however you want to flip it she is the goddess of the water she's actually ocean's mother which is what i said for power one when i said they are ocean <laughs> and that's funny because i always say i'm the ocean goddess of pink and gold um and we have right here a car so your baby loves to drive is it a car yes a car it's a person who race car and gary spongebob is very very significant and she screams spongebob out and i have right here and my other pal charmy that is looking at me hold on i'll show it to you i have all my charms right here is spongebob so spongebob wants to say hi to you uh, and then we'll do your pendulum, okay? Let's get into that, all right? Oh, wait, dice. <laughs> what am I doing, Allie? I'm sorry. I'm everywhere. It's okay. Let's see. We got a lot of dice. Like, a lot. I, I thought I needed more, but I don't think I do. They may be a lot. Let's just big story. That messed up everything. Another fish, Pisces, you're very strong. You like to think a lot, very intuitive, but also you clear energy. A man's around you, it's smiling, maybe your ancestor, or as far as when it, he could also, you could also give birth to a grandfather or someone that was a firefighter. Um, this is a teddy bear, and this is gonna happen around Valentine's Day next year because right now Valentine's Day is not around, or it could be where they're making your valent, making you feel like it's Valentine's Day with the amount of spiritual gifts you're getting. Something's happening with the and then the car honks, so that's accurate what I said. And then there's a new opportunity to get a home, own a home, move, anything of that sort when it comes. Yes, I hear the horns and moving, okay? And I like to read from the bottom, so the sadness will be over by Thanksgiving, the weariness, the tiredness, I'll show you. The weariness and the tiredness will be over by Thanksgiving, okay? And but go slowly with the snail, and uh, you'll be having a party with the dad. And then the sun came forward. Your baby really loves you because there's like two car honks, and then when they realize that they can't get forward, it's like, Let me bring the sun in. Hello, and then after that, we'll do your pendulum, okay? Very organized energy because. <laughs> I don't know why. I just seem to. This is just an organized pile today. All right. If you have watched my pile one, then this, but the other child that you have, <laughs> this one's organized a little bit more than pile one. Although pile one is a great baby, just like pile two, but pile one, pile two is a little more organized. All right. Now let's get into your pendulum. Okay. I'm gonna swing it and come back. Okay, I'm sorry I can't help the lighting, but because your babies want to say hola, hello, ni <laughs> Um, Okay, if my camera wants to move on its own, fine. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's think about your question. Nunca means no, never. I don't like that word, so I'm going to say it's not right now. I'm getting a new one, but right now we're testing to see... How much we want to keep this one and i think that we're going to keep this one but we're going to add another pendy okay siempre means forever or always and no is across the board no in every language you do not need a translation for now quizás sometimes or um maybe and that's what it's meaning to me and c si means yes well quizás does mean sometimes maybe in spanish and nunca means never but i'm adding in a few okay Think of your question, and we're going to swing it in three, two, one. That fast? No way. It doesn't want to move anymore. Oh, there you go. <laughs> C. It says C. So the answer is C. I'm sorry, but the lighting, I don't know what to do. Maybe if I put, like, a curtain. Let's see. It means C. C. Yes. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, Pile 2, for being you and being awesome as you are.
I don't know, your babies want to say hi, but it's like covering. Let it be. But anyway, it... Let it be, so, um, you know, it's what it is. And... I'm trying, but it's not working out. Covering. But, um, yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share comment <laughs> like i said to pa one comment don't dm me don't don't tell me that it's awesome even though i love your feedback no comment because i want people like you who are new to see it i want them to understand that i'm legit and i'm accurate and i'm, I'm great and all the beautiful beautiful ass feedback that you give me in my private time and I'm reading it and I'm, I'm looking at my notifications I want to see that under my actual YouTube account okay so other people like you and like me because I know how it feels to be new to a channel it's very scary when you don't know the person and you're like trying to subscribe should you subscribe give that person hope and let them understand that you love watching Ali's Tarot readings because some of you do uh, some of you do come back a lot of you come back a big huge majority of you do come back um so you know and even when you miss my readings you go back and you watch them a lot of you told me that too so go ahead and like them and comment and, and let give that person some type of courage okay but until then have a very magical day and i thank you so much for being with me and being a part of my my gift <laughs> and watching your spirit babies give a message to you that they felt was very important on their heart and i wanted to say again thank you and my gratitude is the utmost high all right i'll see you with the next one all right don't forget like subscribe and share i am ali the ocean goddess that loves pink and gold and i'll see you in the next one bye